Without further ado, I'd like to um, introduce you to our chair for the next two days. Uh, you might recognise Felicity. She's been a journalist uh, for many years and uh, focuses on politics, news and current affairs. Um, she is the correspondent for BBC Wales' flagship political programme, uh, The Wales Report, which I know many of you will, will follow. Uh, it's a fantastic opportunity for us to work with her and for her to uh, keep our speakers to time over the next two days. So uh, put your hands together and welcome Felicity, please. Boradar, good morning, everybody. Joe, thank you very much indeed. I'm very excited about this. We have some really impressive people who've come here from across Wales, from the Isle of Wight, from Washington, D.C., from Sydney. As you can see from the size of this lectern, I myself have travelled from the island of Lilliput. So we've all, we've all made a big effort to be here, and we're grateful that you also have made an effort to come and contribute to what is, this is an overused word, but it's true in this case, a unique event to help shape the future of public service in Wales. And you've been invited because you're powerful people and you can play a really key role in shaping the future of Welsh public service. And as you know, it faces profound challenges, financial, organisational, cultural. But genuine change isn't easy to achieve. Laws can get passed. They can impose obligations. You can go away and you can write policy frameworks and guidelines and they can be ignored, as they are all the time, all over the world, let's be honest. As we get older, we get more comfortable. We develop fixed ways of thinking about things. We know how the world works, or we think we do. We develop settled, sometimes unshakable opinions, comfort zones that we stay in. And in doing this, we probably make ourselves less intelligent, less insightful, and less effective. The brain used to be thought of as a static organ, but it isn't. You know, as those of you who follow these things will know, neuroscience now tells us that the organization of our brain changes as a function of our experience. It's called brain plasticity. There's so much we don't know about this yet, but it seems that in our environments, in our behaviors, in the habits that we form, we actually shape our brains. So learning new things, having new experiences, speaking to new people, rethinking well-established approaches, these things can make us cleverer. They can make us better at our jobs. They can make us better at serving the people of Wales. And this is a chance, this summit today, to adopt a growth mindset, as one of the learning points on your table suggests. Over the next couple of days, leaders and experts in public delivery from Wales and all over the world will challenge us to do that, focusing on six key themes. Citizen, not structure, learning from the front line, making change happen, new ways of delivery, Wales is plural, working together. Now, some of what you hear might seem utterly obvious. Hopefully, most of it will be interesting, even inspiring, and perhaps some of it uncomfortable. And maybe in that point is the moment for a learning opportunity to give our brains a chance to grow in a different way, become better leaders, develop a better public service.